Hello folks and welcome to the dumbest show on YouTube, where I ask the question that no one has ever asked before. Can I play this on a Vita? So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to play any game that you ask me to, or try, by any means necessary, on a PlayStation Vita. So, what we have here is a modded Vita, and... We got Enzo installed on it, which is the permanent mod. So, there's a 3DS emulator for the Vita. It sucks ass. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we are going to use the Moonlight app, which will allow you to remote connect to a PC if it has an NVIDIA graphics card. So, I already have that. I have Citra loaded up on the PC. Uh... Be sure to always, always use legally dumped ROMs. Wink, wink, wink. Always. So we load it up. We're gonna connect to my PC. And wait. So, we got Citra loaded up here. We're not playing Persona Q2 today. We are using the touchscreen though to move the mouse, so it's a little jerky. And then we'll click File. We will go down to Pokemon X. It's loading up, looking beautiful. We uh, have changed the view on the screen. We'll go to full screen mode here. So the touchscreen is going to be over in the corner in just a little screen. One problem with this is the touchscreen on the Vita will not work for the touchscreen on the 3DS, so you do have to use the mouse if you want to use the touchscreen. But luckily, this game allows you to use the buttons instead. So, there we go, walking around, it runs pretty good. A little bit of a lag, though. Uh, which, uh... Citra is not great. It really depends on your computer and network connection uh, and the game. Let's go find a battle here just to see how it runs. Alright, still a little bit of a lag. Let's talk for this fucking dumb head. Um, okay, well, fuck you. Alright, you. Battle me. I want to see it run in battle. Alright, so far so good with the animations. Ooh, there's a big lag spike there. But that's okay. Like I said, it, it's an emulator. Citra doesn't run great to begin with. Alright, uh, already got a little problem. That screen is really small and hard to see on the handheld. So, that may pose an issue in this particular view. Anywho, let's beat the shit out of this Pikachu. Well, you know, the battle animations and everything look great. They're running perfectly fine. And... We'll just do a couple more quick attacks. Ah, dick. Alright, well, the physical attacks work fine, but what about the special attacks? And this tiny screen is driving me nuts, so let's switch it to the side-by-side. -side. Yes, I am using the mouse on my computer, because it's faster. No, we don't want to learn fucking Thunder Wave. Alright, this is a lot better. It, it does make the play screen smaller, obviously, but at least I can see what's on the lower screen now. Oof. Alright, let's Thunder Shock it. And... Yeah, you bitch. Haha! -ha. Look at me being the greatest Pokemon master. 
and uh, you can like set up like to access it like you're supposed to be on your same network to run it but you can't set up like an FTP server if you want to be outside your network and fuck this Psyduck don't shake your ass at me in the middle of my can I play it on a Vita video anyway I'm gonna say you know, if you're in a pinch and want to play some Pokemon on a handheld, don't have a 3DS, I'm gonna say, you can play it on a Vita.